प्राइम एशिया टेलीविजन के दर्शकों को संजीव तवंदा सत श्रीकाल नमस्कार आदाब दोस्तों प्राइम टॉक प्रोग्राम में आज के साडे विशेष मेहमान हैं ऑनरेबल डॉक्टर क्रिस्टी डंकन डॉक्टर क्रिस्टी डंकन स्पोर्ट्स एंड साइंस मिनिस्टर हैं डॉक्टर डंकन वेलकम टू प्राइम एशिया इट्स नाइस टू बी स्पेंड टाइम विद यू संजीव फिन माय नेम इज किरस्टी मेरा नाम किरस्टी Okay, uh, Minister. My first question is that you are actually taking care of uh, two portfolios, that is science as well as sports. So, what is your mandate as a minister of science and sports? Sure, absolutely. Thank you for the question. So, I am a former scientist. So, on the science file, I want to return science and research to their rightful place. That meant uh, under the previous government, we saw. Our scientists were muzzled. This was being reported in international journals. They were being muzzled. Research funding stagnated, and we had researchers protesting the death of evidence on Parliament Hill. We have taken a very different approach. We've unmuzzled our scientists. We've uh, focused on science research evidence-based decision making so we make good decisions for Canadians and we've made the largest investment in research in Canadian history of 10 billion dollars so you have the second port uh, portfolio that is a uh, sports minister also so a scientist a dancer someone who loves to learn different languages so how sports uh, portfolio or file is given to you Uh, I was really honored when the Prime Minister asked me to take on the sport file. As you said, I'm a former athlete, uh, coach, and a judge all my life. I love sport. I live for sport. Sport offers so many benefits: uh, better health, better mental health. Sport teaches you life: how to dig deep on the hard days, how to set goals and achieve them. And my goal when I came into the sport file was to end abuse, discrimination, harassment in sport, and maltreatment of any kind for our athletes uh, and children. Do you think that uh, in Canadian sports environment there's a lot of harassment, abuse, and uh, uh, discrimination? Well, it's been a long-standing problem in sport. Uh, the CBC. Uh, recently, did an important study that showed how many coaches have been in trouble. So my goal was to end abuse, and we've taken many steps over the last year. So, so what are the concrete steps you have taken to stop it? Absolutely, great question. Uh, we've said to our national sport organizations, they must have strong policies. They must put in place a third party. to investigate any cases that come forward they have to report any cases to the minister to the office i've worked with all the ministers sport ministers across the country and together we have signed the red deer declaration which means for the first time ministers across the country are making it a priority to end abuse discrimination harassment in sport i've put in place a toll free confidential health line helpline so if an athlete or someone has been a witness has seen something they can call and get information of where to go next and we know this is working we see that the they're calling the helpline and they're getting the help they need and we've put in place a third party that our national sport organizations can go to to investigate any cases of abuse and for the first time We are working to have a code of conduct for sport. How we're going to interact with our athletes, with our children for sport, and if coaches breach that con that code, there will be sanctions. So my priority is protecting our children, the most precious, the most vulnerable, and uh, our athletes. So my question to you is, when? uh gt will have uh, a world class uh, cricket uh, stadium well i i like you love cricket i went to school in scotland in the united kingdom uh watched a lot of cricket went to many cricket matches love the sport 
Um, I know what people are looking forward to here in Canada right now is the GT20 that's soon starting here. That's right. And I think this is going to be exciting to watch and I'm hoping to get to some of the matches. All right, uh, you are also interested in uh, science a lot. So my question is, what are your accomplishments as a Minister of Science? Well, thank you for the question. I want to put our researchers and students at the center of everything we do. That means we build the system around them because science and research matter. We understand that if you want a cleaner environment, cleaner air, cleaner water, if you want better technology or you want a stronger economy, you need research. So uh, from the previous Conservative government, they stagnated funding. We've invested $10 billion. I can't wait to see the discoveries that come out from that $10 billion investment. And the focus is going to be on students. I know that when I talk to the people in my community, they want their children to have a great educational experience. So whether they're going to a university, a college, a polytechnic, they're going to have, we want them to have that research experience. That's going to help them get jobs. Um, Christy, I have a question which is a pretty old issue. Okay. I was looking at uh, uh, your accomplishments and what you've been interested in, but something came to uh, my, uh, 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 my watch. And I see that Prime Minister of Canada sometimes back, of course many years back, was claiming or was saying that you are a Nobel laureate. And uh, it was shown somewhere on your Facebook page also. I know it's an old question, but I know, where, and I know that it's withdrawn also. But I was wondering how this happened, actually. Well, I, I can uh, gladly explain. Um, when I was a research scientist, I was asked by the Government of Canada to serve on the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. That was a real privilege and a real honor, and I was delighted to do it. And I was a lead author for Canada, and I looked at climate change and its impact on human health. And in 2007, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, of which I was a member, and former Vice President Al Gore were jointly awarded the Nobel Prize. I have been always clear to say I was a member of the panel that won the Nobel Prize. And I can't be clearer than that. Um, <clears throat> another important issue is the Trudeau government uh, is being, uh, people are saying, or some uh, organizations or some uh, different uh, media organizations or uh, political groups, they say Trudeau government favors big corporations and the rich. And they give example, for example, in case of Loblaws, a lot of money was given to buy refrigerators for uh, Loblaws. So why uh, Trudeau government is favoring? Uh, I would strongly disagree with this. Uh, my focus, I've been a member of parliament for 10 years. I left a job I loved. I loved teaching at the university. I loved my research. But I had the opportunity to serve the community where I'm born and raised. Not many people get that opportunity. I ran in order to serve the community I love and adore. And I serve this prime minister because of his focus on Canadians, not on taxpayers, we're Canadians. And he and his focus on the middle class and those working hard to join it. You know, the difference, it, the policies our government has put in place in my community is extraordinary. The Canadian Child Benefit, uh, the CCB, is, is, has lifted in a few short years 300,000 children out of poverty. That's something that couldn't be done for decades. 300,000 children. In my community alone, the CCB is making a difference to 27,000 children. 
Uh, Chrissy, thank you very much for uh, all different answers, but we have many more questions and <laughs> okay. come back uh, after a commercial break. Welcome back. To see the Prime Asia Television. To Hada Apna to Hadali. So coming back to the next uh, uh, issue, Christy. So are there any proposals, any steps, or any fundings uh, you're doing so that uh, science and sports uh, they can flourish? Uh, thanks, Senji, for the question. I'll talk about science first. So as I said, we have made the largest investment in science and research in Canadian history, a $10 billion investment. And the reason we invest is to have a better life for Canadians, uh, stronger communities, a better economy. And by putting our researchers and students first, we have to make sure they have the funding to do their research. You can't do research if you don't have funding. And we've increased the funding for those grants by 25%. So if you're a family and you have a student who's going to university, that's going to graduate school, that's gonna help them. Uh, we're making sure you can't do research if you don't have your labs and tools. So we've made um, a $762 million investment for those labs and tools and we're going to commit to predictable, sustainable funding to have those labs and tools. And today, research is so much about big data. You think about artificial intelligence, you think about genomics data. Uh, that's a $600 million investment. So previous conservative government stagnated funding, we've invested $10 billion. On the sports side, and I think our communities would be really excited to hear this, uh, $30 million for safe sport to make, I've talked about what we've done to make sports safer, we're going to invest another $30 million. That will really help our organizations strengthen um, to make sports safer for our athletes and for our children. We're investing $30 million. Well, I want to see everyone have an opportunity to participate in sport. Women, racialized people, indigenous people, persons with disabilities, everyone deserves the right to participate in sport. And when we look at participation of women and girls in sport in Canada, it's much lower than for boys and men. And we know if girls aren't participating in sport by age 10, there's a less likely opportunity, there's less likely that they will participate in sport throughout their life. That's right. And we know how good sport's for. So we're giving 30 million and we've said to the sport organizations, we want to see by 2035 equal participation in sport. In sport, in coaching, in officiating, and in leadership positions. And in fact, we've said to our sport organizations, you have till 2024, our national sport organizations, to have equal participation in leadership. Minister, many announcements are being made by uh, different uh, federal ministers of Canada. Uh, but this is an election year. Is it that all these investment and all these announcements are to woe the voters? Uh, I have been working since day one on the science and research file to return science and research to the rightful place. I have crisscrossed the country many times listening to our researchers, listening to our students. Um, that was a broken relationship. Under the previous government, they did no consultations with the research community. They didn't listen to them. My job was to listen, to hear what their needs were, and to fix it. I've been in the sport file about a year and a half, and I've been very busy on the sport file. Uh, these two files, I, I think s uh, science and research are important for making a better life for Canadians and for our country, and I think sport is so good for everyone. I am, I, I, these, this is my mantra, 
to, to get as many people involved as possible. Uh, Minister, Canada has always been very, uh, having very good relations with the uh, different countries of the world. But today, if we look at, we have n never before had strained relations with all the three world's strongest countries, be it China, be it India, be it United States. I think, um, uh, you know, the United States is our closest friend and neighbor. Uh, I've been down to the United States many times in my role, and my message to Americans is thank you. You've been our long-standing friend and neighbor. We have the longest undefended border in the world, and it's because we have this hard-working foreign minister, a prime minister who's committed to strengthening this relationship, um, that we have the new NAFTA agreement. So I think uh, we've heard from companies, we've heard from Canadians, this is good news. The steel tariffs have been list lifted. I think you're also talking about Ch China. 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 Um, you know, our priority is to bring the two Michaels home and to bring them home safely. That has to be our priority. And I think the third country you're talking India. is about India. Well, you know that India is very close to my heart and that the people of my community and the people of India, I, I mean, I consider these people family. I had the privilege of going to India with the Prime Minister. I had the privilege of visiting uh, these wonderful, uh, you know, they talk about how magnificent India is and I for the first time I got to see many parts and also had the privilege of meeting the Prime Minister and being able to say thank you and the difference that uh, people of Indian descent be, uh, South Asians are making here in Canada. Uh, Minister, uh, I know that uh, you are a Minister for Sports and Minister for Science but this is an election year so NDP election pl uh, platform promises had to do health care. What's your take on that? Um, I, you know, I am focused on uh, what we're promising and what we will. I'm focused on the work we've been doing. Um, the fact that we've raised taxes on the wealthiest 1%, we've lowered them on 9 out of 10 Canadians. I've talked about the Canada Child Benefit. Our focus is the middle class, those working hard to join it, and putting in place uh, policies that um, we can implement. And of course, we've undertaken this important pharmacare study and uh, we've made real commitments in this last budget, including moving on rare diseases, and there's more work to do. And I, I, I know in the future we'll be sharing our platform. Conservative Party leader Andrew Scheer is accusing the Liberal government of imposing a secret fuel tax through its proposed clean uh, fuel standard and is calling on Prime Minister Justin Trudeau to abandon the measures because it will increase the cost of the gas. So what's your take? Uh, climate change is real. It's happening now. Uh, it's something scientists have understood for over 25 years. We are seeing the impacts here in Canada. There are impacts on fisheries, on forests, on agriculture, on human health. Um, Heat-related uh, problems, you see different infectious diseases. We have to act. We were elected to act on climate change. Our government has undertaken over 50 measures to act on climate change. You know, all uh, our children grow up knowing climate change is real. They want us to act. And over 50 measures, we've invested billions to improve clean energy, uh, to have renewable energy, clean technology. Uh, we're looking to reduce the impacts of extreme weather events like the flooding we have seen. We have to act on climate change. 
Thank you so much, Sanjeev. First of all, thank you for having me. This has been a tremendous honor. And to your, your viewers, I want to say serving you the last 10 years has been the greatest honor of my life. I should say namaste, satsriyakal, kem cho, mira nam kirsti, menoboko television station, ake, to see mira bobo chenge paiwar. And I just want to say thank you to you all, and thank you to you, Sanji, for this uh, honor. Once again, thank you very much for your time, Minister. An honor, sir. So, those who see the crazy, Chrissy Duncan, Honorable Chrissy Duncan, uh, Canada uh, Sports and uh, Science Minister. So, in other which are, to see so many, in another summit, Hona, Na Summit, Hona. ਉਹ ਤੁਹਾਡੀ ਆਪਣੀ ਚੁਆਇਸ ਹੈ ਪਰ ਸਾਡੀ ਕੋਸ਼ਿਸ਼ ਇਹੀ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਪ੍ਰਾਈਮ ਏਸ਼ੀਆ ਟੈਲੀਵਿਜ਼ਨ ਤੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਅਲੱਗ ਅਲੱਗ ਪੋਲਿਟੀਕਲ ਪਾਰਟੀਆਂ ਦੇ ਲੀਡਰਸ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਮਿਨਿਸਟਰਸ ਤੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਐਕਟਿਵਿਸਟ ਨੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਇੱਥੇ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਆਉਣੇ ਆ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਵਿਚਾਰ ਸਾਂਝੇ ਕਰਦੇ ਆ ਸੋ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਵੈਰੀ ਮਚ ਫॉर ਵਾਚਿੰਗ ਦਾ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਪ੍ਰਾਈਮ ਏਸ